All right, hey, he's gone. It's uh, what is it? Saturday. I decided to uh, hit bush tonight, just because uh, my wife's gonna be working for the next ten or eleven days in a row or something. She's a nurse. I thought I'd come up here. It wasn't um, only a couple of weeks ago I came up this ridge line, which I've never been up before, and um, just sussing out where to put some new motorbike trails. I came across this spot and I thought this would be a good spot for um, a bit of hammock camping. I'm sort of uh, pretty close to the middle of my property. My house is probably, I don't know, 700 metres that way or something. And um, we usually camp down in this valley, down behind me, right down the bottom on my fence line. And that's a real good spot. And, um, we've had a few shindigs of that down there. Anyway, as I decide on where to set up a bit of a hammock, I usually like trees roughly four meters apart, and obviously you want to check above you. So sometimes coming up in these little spots ends up being better. A lot of the trees are uh, sort of a bit smaller, and um, whereas when you're down close to the valley, it's the trees are a lot bigger, and you can have some, um, you know, the old widow makers above you. Um, and then tonight it's meant to be picking up the breeze and it's also meant to be dropping off a bit of temperature tonight so I thought yeah I'll just try and get in this valley a little bit I'll swing around in a second and um, yeah so I thought this is not a bad spot so I've decided picking a tree from here to here as you can see it's still on a bit of a slope that's the whole beauty of hammock camping you can um, yeah, pick yourself a nice little spot and as long as you've got a couple of trees that are you know, somewhat about like three to four metres apart, you'll laugh and it just depends on how big your tarp is really. And yeah, right, I'll swing these around and you can have a bit of a look. Here we go. So that's looking back down the valley and then we'll swing around. And that's going right back up to the top of one of my um, ridgeline tracks up there. And then... Um, I sort of own all up over that next mountain and over the other side sort of thing. And yes, yeah, so I've picked <clears throat> this tree here. So that's, you know, a good 15 centimetres, 20 centimetres in diameter. And another one that's pretty similar, about four metres apart. So I'm thinking that's going to be a good spot to set up. Alright, so I just got my pack here. And I just pull out my um, tarp first. That's the whole beauty of it all, if you can set it up when it's raining or you know, whatever. Makes it all pretty easy.
I've got a couple of traffic knots. Let me slide them across. <coughs> And that's your tarp. Chuck out a couple of lines to whatever you can find. Doesn't need anything too fancy. There you have it. Tarp up and then you chuck the hammock up. Alright, and this is my whoop, this is my hammock bag. So I keep all my straps. Yeah, there's everything in there. And it's actually got a um so I've actually made all this homemade, so it's all just like ripstop nylon. The tarp I impregnated with silicon. My hammock is made out of the same like ripstop material that it's got from spotlight, you know, like a few bucks for a whole bunch of material. And then um I've got a bug net, I haven't finished like sewing it up yet and um, I wanted to make sure, I'm, I think I'm going to put it so it's like a bottom entry style of a um, mosquito net. And the reason why I wanted to keep it sort of separate, you'll see it in a second, is um, so it depends on where you're camping. If you're camping where there's going to be heaps of mosquitoes and that, obviously you're going to want the mosquito net. But if you're out and you've got a nice breeze and that and you're chilling on the beach or something like that, then you can just sort of just pack it up and not put it out, you know. So I've just got like these straps that I put around the tree and they've sort of got a bit of length on them and then you um yeah attach your attach your stuff to it.
There you have it. Set up, ready for the night, pretty much. You spent a bit of time just stuffing around a little bit and uh, making it all perfect. So I'll show you a bit of a clip later when I stuff around with it a little bit more. But you get the idea, it's pretty simple and pretty pretty quick really. Yeah, it's nice.